Alright, now that, that train has passed. Um, hold on a second. Take two of the inverted thread the needle. And it looks like this. Whoops. I'm still not the best at these, but I'm pretty sure I can explain these. So, just kind of bear with me again. I'm still kind of working on these. So, yeah. But anyways, um, understand the concept of in-swings and inversions. And I already posted an inversion tutorial. And it's this little number. So, learn those before you learn this and also understand the concept of end swings. And basically what an end swing is, is kind of going inside your arm and swinging inside your arm rather than outside. So actually doing this is kind of a good way to uh, get warmed up for this tutorial. Uh, just be sw spinning on your ball plane, just one point, in the same direction you would as a butterfly, and then spin on the inside of your arm, and then back out. And do that with both hands. Okay. So also be comfortable with your thread the needles. Of course, failed to mention that. I think I might have. Anyways, um, so be comfortable with your thread the needles and the concept of just doing in swings like that. Okay. Now, uh, what I've discovered from this, also from doing this move, is it's kind of similar to doing like a butterfly buzzsaw like that on either side. So you may want to practice that too, but you don't have to. Uh, I don't think it's completely necessary to learn this move because as you can see I can't really do them either. But it might help a little bit if you want to learn that too. Alright, to get on with this, this is going to be kind of tricky to explain how to do them together. Um, anyways, rocking the thread the needle. Also, hold on before I start. Also wrap up your poi. Make them a bit shorter. I wrap mine up just around three fingers and that seems to be a pretty good length to practice this. So um, get into a thread the needle after you wrap up and with your dominant hand you're going to take it whenever notice how it's like one arm goes over the other and it pushes out over and back just like that. Well, when you're going over, then just at that point where you're pulling that arm back and the other arm is going over, you're going to kind of swing over this tether of this poi and down inside of your arm. And then that's kind of where that butterfly buzzsaw feeling kind of comes in. So, it's almost, it's kind of like you're going into a butterfly buzzsaw, but you're not quite going into it fully. It's like, ooh, I just changed my mind. Or something like that. So, get comfortable doing it on one side and just coming back to a thread the needle. Or a butterfly even. Oops. So yeah, so learn that on that side, and then also learn it on the other side. Alright, so once you learn it on both sides, it's time to put them together. And pretty much just take the two that concept I taught you earlier of kind of going 
over then under and just repeat it on both sides. And yeah, that's about it. Um, if I didn't explain this well enough, just let me know and I will do it again.